look at that one hit and a fist pump in the air. Mark Bookman, in my mind, the best single blocker in the world right now. Athletes ready. Stand to your timber. Three, two, one, go. Hardy Jr. continues to solve with two hands. Mark Bookman with a slight advantage. Mark Bookman did the one hand grab on that saw. And he said, Dave, this race is going to be tough on me today. I have to breathe. And Arden Coger Jr. is just going for it. He's go! Oh, look at the speed from Matt Coger on your left. And that's giving him slight advantage. But Ben Nicely wants nothing to do it. He's going to stay right with Matt Coger. Look at the blows from Matt Coger on the left side here. And he put it nicely around first. Got a big front in these logs are matched. And Matt Coger's got plenty of slope, driven the top, driven the bottom. And right now he says he's gonna get right into that single buck, but a little hang, this is what we thought. But now he's getting into the big one again, a slight length, a slight hang. Ben nicely taking advantage though, he's staying right with him. Coger another hang, Coger another hang, and now Nicely's gonna come off first. Now we got trouble for Coger. Nicely, two hits ahead in the standing block. Here comes Coger. Coger staring right into it. Taking the far wood out. Coger loves to come from behind win. And look at this, Coger, a monstrous front. This is what he does best. Taking the top off nicely with a huge front, but no. What a race though. Ben nicely giving it everything he could. And he gives a big smile, big grin over to Matt Coger, said, I was with you, buddy, but Matt just too strong in that standing block. A big round of applause from ladies and gentlemen. That is incredibly difficult. That's the second race for Ben Nicely. And Matt Coger, he's giving a glare. He's looking at that standing block. Matt just looked back at that single buck, and he's saying, somehow, I have to go faster. Nice job, gentlemen. And the winner is Matt Coger. Going to have to look at that turn right now. Arden Jr., one of the fastest turns in the business. Bo Quinn right with him. And if Arden doesn't get to that single buck first, he's going to be in trouble. Bo Quinn again, the fastest single buck in the business. Look at this. Bo Quinn, one hit behind. Jr. is right with him. And this could be trouble for Arden Coger Jr. Bo Quinn is coming at this single buck. Bo Quinn, again, the strongest sorter in the business with a slight lead, a slight lead on Arden Jr. And here it is, half a stroke. Jr.'s going to do what he does best, though, cutting standing blocks. And everyone's telling Mark Bo Quinn to breathe. Arden Jr.'s going to have a one hit up. He's going to put one more on the far side for safety. A big front for Arden Jr. And look at the big swing. About four hits behind, he's taking a slight lead on Mark Boquin. He's going to drive the near. Looks like Junior's got it. But Mark Boquin, let's bring him home. What a tough race. What a tough draw against Arden Coger Jr. Mark Boquin, he had a tough time yesterday, but he is just found again, found another gear. A big round of applause for both these athletes. We're going to give Mark a, a moment. Feeling a little under the weather lately, but I tell you, when this guy comes back at 100%, watch out. <laughs> nice job, gentlemen. And the winner is Arden Coger Jr. <laughs> this guy's the great. He loves to talk he's an easy interview is it me or did you use a smaller axe in the underhand today or was that just a lose illusion some of these competitors use these big eight inch wide axes i'm old day i have to use small axes now i've been doing this stuff for 35 years been competing in a sport for over 40 and i've lost a lot of strength so I, everything gets smaller everything gets slower but I'm still up here with these young guys, so I'll take that.
Good job. We're going to see you in the next round. Great job, Arden Koga Jr., and especially Mark Boquin. Tough race. Yeah, both these competitors. Just a slight advantage for Junior, though, that speed turn. In less than a second, he makes that transition into the back side. But Mark Bulquin just stayed right with him. Both of these competitors keeping their head down, looking right into the cut. Now, technically, Junior should have about a two stroke lead, but he hangs. Again, pulls those rakers in in the small. Athletes ready. Stand to your timber. Three, two, one, go. Ozzy, pass to the wood. Pass to the steer. Hand eye coordination. About half a second behind. Look how fast they get in there. Cassidy Shear is actually winding up for that underhand even before he mounts the log. Look at the huge swing by Shear. And this is his chance. Now he's about two hits behind Hodges right now. And when they get into this single buck, this could call the race. Look at this. Cassidy calling up. This is going to be the race right now. Hey, Hodges with the spikes anchored in. Now he's driving the single buck. Cassidy again using six foot six of that saw. That's only six foot three. It's going to be close. Cassidy with a hang. Hodges. Clean cut. Hodges one hit ahead. Both competitors using the same one and one pattern. Hodges has beat out a slight flat hit for Hodges. He's going to lose that. Cassidy Shear right with him. I'd say Cassidy Shear with a larger front. Cassidy Shear going to take one more piece. He's going to come at it. Cassidy Shear could possibly win it. No, it's Hodges. Nate Hodges with the speed. Advantage Shear with the power, but he just could not keep up with the speed of Nate Hodges. And what a single buck cut by Hodges, Cassidy Shear with an unfortunate hang. Nice job, gentlemen. And the winner is Nate Hodges. And give a big round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. That was an incredibly tough race. The second race for Hodges. And Nate's going to have to do it all over again. We'll find out in a second. But both these competitors, again, fast to the woods. Slight advantage by Hodges. Ear.